What is up guys, Zack Scott here playing Yoshi's Crafted World and one of the next things, one of the final things the game wants us to do is to defeat all of the bosses again so this video will feature all boss fights and at the end I'll include the mini boss fights but for now we're going to go through and do all of the boss fights to do all the boss challenges including some no damage challenges. We're going to start with the Tin Can Condor and move on from there. I hope you enjoy this video. Let's start it off. The Tin Can Condor, we need to beat it in 125 without any damage and attach a magnet when the boss is face is red. Let's see if we can pull that all off. Here we go. Alright, boss fight challenge. Alright, attached him immediately. Was his face red? I don't think it was. It was only red like maybe after I attached the magnet, but it has to be red before. So we'll see what he's going to do. Now, any, any damage I take, even the costume damage counts as damage, so we got to watch out for that. I've been doing this several rounds in a row, trying to learn his patterns. Uh, this pattern's quite easy, but it's hard for me to really hit him with the magnet when his face is red. He has to be up in the air when that happens. And sometimes it's just kind of hard. Okay, but now the mouse is, the mice are coming out. Uh, so let's hit him. Got him. There you go. His face was red there. Makes sense. I understand what to do now, but now I need to do it one more, t one more time before 125 comes up. So here we go. Wish me luck. If we can uh, get it right the first time, then the second time, you know, we have a little bit of leeway on the on the time limit, but oof, I don't know what to do. Here we go. He's gonna do the eggs now, the spiked eggs. First set's a double. Next set's a yellow that bounces. We can just go over it. The next set's a red, which again, not a big deal. Okay, now we gotta look for the, for the uh, magnets again. There's the magnet over there. Got him, got him. All right, and that's done. All challenges uh, complete for this boss fight. I'll go ahead and grab those coins. And believe me, I'm happy. I'm wearing the robot costume I got last episode for uh, getting all of the, uh, the, the hide and seek sprouts. There we go, here we go. Boss challenge, Tin Can Contour. We beat it before 125. We cleared it without taking, taking any damage and we attached the magnet when the boss's face is red. Awesome. And we do get coins for that, so that's really cool as well. Let's see what's next. Uh, the next fight is going to be... Well, we did it. We did it. Yes, now the flowers... Okay, excellent. The flowers fall here. That's perfect. You cleared all the Tin Can Condor boss challenges. I did indeed. Let's zoom out and take a look at what's next. Up next, uh, we're going to want to go this way. And I like to go to the top... Sky High Heights? No, I think the, uh... There we go, there we go. The Acorn Forest is where we want to go to fight Spike the Piranha. We go to beat him in 123. Clear without taking taking any damage and break two or more IVs. Okay, let's figure out what that means. Alright, Mr. Piranha Plant. Let's see what we got. This is actually kind of tough. Uh, trying to learn the patterns here. I want to grab all three Shy Guys. I will need as many eggs as I can get. And then, of course, he's going to cause a situation, which we're going to drop that onto him within the first 15 seconds or so. And then uh, I, need, I need to take out two IVs. These are not IVs here. These are just uh, plants. So the IVs are next. Got to figure out which one's which. Which one's he going to drop it from? Oh, come on. I need that. All right, I have enough stuff, maybe. Got him there. Gotta hit one more Ivy if we can. But that includes a lot of dodging. Uh, and we don't, we don't have much time left, honestly. All right, 10 seconds left, about. Oh, it's not enough. Did we do it? 123, yes, we did it! Awesome, that's the challenge complete. I didn't think we were gonna do it. Oh my gosh. Pulled it off, though. Okay, and it did not take damage, correct? Yeah, we cleared him just barely, just like a tenth of a second there. Oh my gosh, perfect. Spike the piranha, 100% complete. 
And as we take a look, uh, the flowers are, are going to fall from the sky here, which is a beautiful thing. There we go. I love it. I love it so much. All right, you cleared all the spike, the piranha boss challenges. I did indeed. What's next? We're going to zoom out. And I think the next one is going to be uh, Rumble Jungle. That's right. That's where they are. We just look where the flowers are not. The Rumble Jungle looks good. The Gator. What, what do we got to do for the Gator? Let's take a look. We got to beat him in 135. Clear without taking any damage. And break two or more alarms. All right. The Gator Train. This is going to come down to the wire. I'm not joking, man. This is going to be really tough. The time limit thing is the, is the issue for this one. This one's uh, really a difficult time. Got him once. All right, come on now. Sure, yeah, bring these guys in. I want them as my friends. <laughs> That's mine. Whatever. All right. It's okay, more stuff coming in quickly, right? Ate him, these shy guys. All right, perfect. Here's a fake out at first. Got him again. I mean, we're this is the best time I've, I have, you know, so far. I, I just don't know what's gonna ha need to happen here for this to work out. There's a dodge uh, pencils next. That's not a hard thing to do. It's just uh, trying to get him is, is a difficult thing to do. So, oh geez, oh, no, no, not pencils yet. Pencils soon. All right, I'm gonna be over here. And then this is the hard part. Got him, oh my gosh, I got him. Oh, that was so close. Two seconds to spare. I mean, you gotta really perfect that for real. Two seconds to spare. Oh my gosh. Okay. Whew, that is a tough one. So we got it all. No damage. We broke two or more alarms. The boss challenges are indeed real challenges. That's why it took me so long to get this video out because I've been just recording and recording and recording. Trying to get them done. I hope you guys appreciate it by dropping a like on the video. <laughs> all right. Next fight, though, if we zoom out, let's see what we got. Yay! Ooh, okay. What's next? You cleared all the gator train attacks, boss challenge. I know, I know I did. Zoom out, the flowers fall. Up next, we got this boss down here. And this is Chili Hot Isles. We got the uh, Burt's Bouncy Battle, including uh, beating him by 120, no damage, and then throw Bumpty at the boss's back and make him fall. We'll see what that's all about. All right, come on, big boy, let's do this. Let's do this. I've been trying to learn his patterns. Of course, I've lost a few times, it's okay. So first up, this guy coming out immediately with that. Grab another one. Ooh, okay, and then we go over here. Boom, slam him in his underpants. <laughs> and then we deal with this. This is not a big deal. This is actually, uh, if I can just time it right, this is gonna be one of the easier ones, I believe, so. He's gonna, he's gonna jump on this. I'm gonna hit him, there you go. Throw Bumpty at the boss's back. That challenge is done. I just can't take damage, I gotta beat him in time. Should not be a big deal. This is gonna be quite soothing. If I could just pull it off, that is. Excuse me. All right, so now he's gonna be dropping down here. Oh boy. All right, nice. Just give me some birds to throw at you, please. Oh, I think I got him, I think I got him. I hope that's in time, I think it is. There he goes, he's deflated. And we did such a good job, I'm happy about it. Yeah, all right. Awesome, so uh, there we go, all three sunflowers right there. And watch as the flowers fall from the sky. 
It's a beautiful sight. <laughs> All right. There we go. And uh, yeah, so 100% complete on that. No damage against uh, Bert's bouncy battle. We zoom out, I think we gotta go on now uh, to something a little bit stronger. We're just looking for lack of flowers here. And ooh, look over here, Shadowville, you know who this is, right? The great King Bowser. What is the challenge? 430, okay. Clear without taking any damage, okay. Strike the big meteorite with a hammer. Okay, we're gonna have to figure out what that means. All right, this fight's really tough, uh, but, hold on, let me jump over this. It's mostly about managing your time and collecting the eggs when you need to. So we'll see how that works out. Uh, this is really interesting. So these things come up, this gets you like five eggs. Believe me, I've, I've tried and failed at this several times. I hope this is the one. You shoot these cars, and then you don't shoot him. I was running out of time at the end and I didn't know why and so finally I tried to just like, hey let's stock up on eggs so I can blast through the third phase really quick. So then you get five more eggs out of the deal here. Which put, should put you at maximum. Then you shoot him and then stomp on him. Should have about 40, you should be about 42 seconds or so in. Then you gotta jump over these and uh, don't try to just glide on top. I try to do that several, several times. And uh, you get lower and lower with each subsequent glide if you don't do it correctly. So you can blast these out of the way so just you just don't spend a lot of time dodging them. And then he comes out again. And that's when, you see I only have one egg right now, but like I'm like, well I could use some more. So I go ahead and collect more eggs. And then uh, at this point I figured out, see three more guys drop down. One, two, three. I figured out at this point I need even more eggs. And so uh, that way we'll be able to blaze through the uh, last round here, no problem. And this one took me forever because there's you know two phases and it's hard to not take damage. So there we go, that's the set into the second phase. And then the third phase, well there's two three phase phases, basically is what I'm saying. I don't care about the coins, I let them evaporate. So this time we kind of switches it up on you a little bit, not a big deal. Just jump the other way or you just jump up in the air, not a big deal. There we go. All right, now now that I have all the eggs, I can blast through these super quick. I don't even have to spend time on it, then blast him, and that saves a ton of time right there, so boom. So yeah, the time management is a huge issue here, and uh, it's just something I didn't realize. So, okay, so here we go, this one's, this one's not as hard in my opinion. I don't know why, but uh, I, I do keep getting hit by the meteors, so let's see what happens. And this one's about just having, uh, taking your time and making sure the hammers, you have two hammers as quickly as possible. So don't hit them until you have two hammers or two items, whatever. Grab that guy, grab that guy. He's now, he's either gonna be left or right, so you're safe in the middle, at least so far. All right, so one hammer. I'm gonna go ahead and, and uh, there we go. He's gonna bring fire and that just wastes time. So you just knock him back. Don't worry about hitting him again. You can keep hitting him right here if you want, but again, what we're trying to do is we're trying to get all the hammers in here so that we're prepared to just smash him whenever we can. So, again, left or right, which one? Okay, left. And then we just put the hammer in here, and whichever one he jumps to, okay, over here. We just want him back in there, back in position. Oh no, now, now, yeah, let's do this, let's do this, let's do this, yes, yes, this is it. Okay. Now we want, uh, what we want to do now is wait for and then get another hammer in that area or another weapon. The meteors are falling, watch out, you can't stand on that switch because meteors fall on that switch. There's one big meteor, don't freak out. I freaked out before, I was like, how am I gonna hit that? Got him, with the meteor. So there we go, meteor uh, prerequisite re uh, accomplished. But you're gonna want to do it again because it takes away his health, so. Again, we want to be patient and get another item in there. And we have two eggs. These stars are pretty easy to dodge. We have four eggs now. So do that. Got one, and just go ahead and hit this, because you want to have two. There we go. Now he's gonna be fire if you don't do this. Okay, there we go. Now that we have now that it's full with two, we can just keep hitting him, right? Awesome, and we can go ahead and put uh, that right there, so it's full with two again. And we we wanna be ready, okay. 
The meteors, the meteors are coming. Watch out, don't stand on the switch. Okay, big meteor, do it. Boom, got him. And now we should be able to just wail on him. We don't have much time left, so we just hit him. Oh yeah, he grabs one, he grabs one. This is as far as I've got so far. Hopefully I can do it in time. Oh, thank you, thank you, yes. Okay, that was actually pretty tough. But it, I made it look easy, right? <laughs> Up next, I'm really worried about next because we got Kamek. And Kamek is three phase and then you ride in that machine. And that machine for me is hard to not get hit on. There we go. I was like, <laughs> there's a bit of delay. I thought it didn't give it to me. So there we go. The Bowser challenge complete. And uh, what was that? We're gonna, we're gonna see, okay, hold on. There we go, the flowers fall down. And now, last but not least, we gotta go face Kamek here. But there we go, look at the flowers. Flowers everywhere, except down in the, it's over here, Hidden Hills. Kamek, right here, how are we gonna pull this off? What do we gotta do? We gotta uh, clear without causing any platforms to fall. Yikes. Well, we'll, we'll give it a sh our best shot, <laughs> we will. All right, Kamek's first form is this tin can condor. I've got this down to a science. The next phase, the gator train phase, is the one I keep failing on. And if I manage to get lucky enough to pass through everything, then uh, the final phase, the final, you the robot Yoshi gives me pause. So basically, you do not want to stand on these blocks for any real long duration, because they will fall, and that's part of the challenge. Got him, easy. The first phase to me is the easiest. I can do it almost every single time. This phase is hard. The pencils fall, I keep hitting the edge of the pencils. This first little part of the, the gator train phase is easy. You just dodge it, not bad. I used to have, have, have some difficulty with this, but after playing this, what, 30 times it seems? Now I can get through. He snaps at you, whatever. He, he can make the, the platformers fall, you can't. So the pencils fall, gotta time it. After the yellow. All right, okay, oh, oh. It's rare that I do that, so now this is getting serious. This phase is easy to me. You just wanna be sure to jump over that. There you go. When you jump, don't be on the downward of the flutter. You just wanna to try to seriously jump over that. Now this part's, I mean, it looks like a lot of rockets, but really, if you just kinda of glide and kinda of hang out to the left until we need to go to the right here, it should be fine. Don't really. Whatever. Oh, don't fall, don't fall. Okay. Whew. Now we gotta dodge some gears. But don't stand on the platforms. Don't stand on the platforms. Got him. Okay. Whew. Okay. And there's that bonus objective. Clear without causing any platforms to fall. This part's, I mean, the, the time, I don't know what it is about this, but sometimes I just get hit, even though I'm lined up properly, so wish me luck. Bottom, top, bottom, bottom, top. All right, now we just wait for Kamek to come here and we punch him. And we gotta pay attention to the time too. I think we'll be okay with the time, but so far I've done everything very smoothly. Keep in mind that the footage I've re you know, recorded here, I have probably like maybe an hour of footage of failing this. All right, got that one. I think we're gonna be, I think we're good on time. I, I don't feel like we're behind any at all. Punch! All right, this one's very tough. Middle, 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 bottom, bottom. These guys are middle. So they do the jump. Now this, I don't know what it is. Oh, I think I got it. We're gonna give him a final punch and see. Come here, Kamek. Come here for your punch. 250, right? All right, I think that's it, guys. I think that's actually it. Oh, man. I tried that so many times. Let's see if that was it. I'm pretty sure no platforms dropped. I'm pretty sure I didn't take any damage. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Awesome. And we cleared it <laughs> just like a second shy. Oh my gosh, yes, okay. That was the hardest one, of course. It just took a lot of tries for me. Oh man, so, what happens now that I collected everything? 
I think I collected all this all the sunflowers. I think let's find out. I may have, maybe didn't but I cleared everything right here Flowers fall everywhere. The map is totally full of flowers and joy You cleared all the commit kerfuffle boss challenges. I did didn't I now how many was he asking for yes smiley flowers collected Congratulations, you gathered all the smiley flowers. I did yes, I did and then now what now he wants them right he <laughs> how many do you want uh, he wants 317 you can have them all absolutely here we go that's a lot of smiley flowers he's taking all 317 Kamek looks sad over there doesn't he <laughs> what is he gonna do with them all I mean there are flowers all over this whole map I'm just reclaiming them all I found them all you got them all good for me right all right, that's it. That's it, pal. All right. My thanks to you. I'm as f I'm full as I can be. Okay. Here, allow me to give you something in return. Is it a costume? Oh, it is a Sun Dream Stone costume. Super awesome. That was super rare. And uh, you know, we're we're done. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to tack on uh, the mini boss fights at the end of this episode, so you can uh, enjoy them, uh, and so that it's a proper all boss video. Uh, I do indeed hope you enjoy. We've 100% uh, completed this game now. If I come back with another episode, uh, it's going to be a co an all costume video. So for now, let's go check out all the mini bosses right here. All right, this is the mini boss at the end of Pirate Piers. Should be pretty easy to do without taking damage. You just avoid the things that he shoots. He only takes three shots to, to uh, be defeated. Not too bad. He's gonna show up here. He does, but I missed him. It's okay. He just took a quick peek. Another shot. Again, just avoid what he shoots at you. Not a big deal. Only three hits. And I'm wearing my the new costume, by the way. <laughs> got him. He peeked, and I got him. So there we go. That's how to do that one. And then let's move on to the next mini boss. All right. This is the Shogun. At the end of the Shogun's castle, he's pretty easy to defeat. He does put up some spikes, though, so you gotta watch out for those. Like, we don't wanna be in the room when that happens, so. Sure. But he gives us a nice path, a clear path to him. And then we just go over here and. <laughs> and stomp him. I don't know what took me so long. We just go over there and stomp him, not so bad. There's uh, three phases, as always, with these type of games, so... Uh, start off by going this way. Then by moving this. And then uh, we should have... Uh, which room do we want to be in? Not here. Oh, not there either, so we just want to wait and then go over here. Perfect. So not too shabby. And he gets scared. He's, he gets scared when we find him, so... <laughs> All right, so final room here. Uh, oh yeah, this one. Mm, we want to we want to move this one up first. So, which room do we not want to be in? Okay, so there we go. All right, there we go. Uh, no, we don't. We want we want to break that open, and then we want to bring this down. That's right. I'm I'm, remember, I'm remembering now. Hold on, let's figure out what rooms we don't want to be in. There we go. So just a little manipulation like that. Uh, wait a second. Sorry, we, we want to do what? All right, this is safe. So now that that's open. Oops. <laughs> this is a, this is not quite a speed run, is it? This is uh, this is just me taking my time. All right, <laughs> come on. All right, there we go. <laughs> that's how that's done. And then now we just walk over here and stomp on him for the third time. There we go. All right, one more boss, and it'll be Mr. Geary. And so no damage there, that's good. And cool new costume, right? All right, this is the last mini boss here, Mr. Geary. And uh, you see these little crevices on the ground? 
pretty easy to uh, to stay here because of these little crevices here. So uh, we can just stand there and he won't hurt us at that at that juncture. This is not one we want to be at though. And also at the at the light here. So that's pretty cool, right? I think so. All right, that's not one that we need to be at though. Let's try this one. I think this one will work. Unfortunately, no. How about this one? Again, no on that one. Sadly, no on this one too. We gotta find out where this is gonna be. Let's try this one again. Again, no. Looks like we need to be, how about right here? This looks like a safe spot, right? Got him. And that's how you get him. That's Mr. Geary gone. <laughs> so that's all the mini bosses, guys. I hope you enjoy. Uh, of course, I showed you the regular bosses at the beginning of the video. And uh, if I have another episode of this, it'll be to showcase all the costumes. So thanks for watching. This game is now 100% complete. And uh, other than scanning some amiibos, to unlocking further costumes. And so if I do any more uh, episodes, it'll be that, just to showcase the costumes. There won't be much gameplay at all. Just uh, basically an episode to showcase the costumes, but check it out. Again, if you zoom out, everything has flowers. That's how you know it's 100% complete. Everything. So, thanks so much for watching. Uh, come back next time for more, and I'll see you then. Goodbye. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help this channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thank you so much for watching. You can now join and become an official member of Zach Scott Games. And if you want cool shirts like this, visit ZachScott.com dot shop.